morning everyone we are going to our doctor's appointment and so what's the date today it's the 18th of november and i'm still pregnant <laughs> what do you know um so on wednesday so by the time you're watching this it'll be sunday on wednesday i uploaded the um trying to induce labor naturally video and that was filmed on Monday, um, which I thought it would do something. It, I think it did stuff, like I've been having stronger, um, I don't know if they're contractions or what, but cramping kind of feeling. So I sort of tried the same things, um, like the exercises, um, expressing and all that on Tuesday also, but then I also had a bath I was meditating pretty much most of the day trying to relax I was watching some comedy to you know um, get my oxytocin going um, but yeah that's about it and then I I just gave up because I was like if I'm trying too hard I'm gonna get anxious about it anxiety was what made everything worse last time so I'm trying to just let go and if it happens if it happens sort of but we're going to our appointment now and i um i know um my doctor will um do a stretch and sweep she'll check today for sure because i'm 39 weeks and what's today's wednesday three days two days 39 plus two yeah so um I really want her to come this week because <laughs> oh my gosh the back pain is killing me um, I don't know if it's my regular back pain or if it's like what labor back breakfast? pain hey what I don't know I'm pretty set after that cinnamon scroll <laughs> I'd like to have something afterwards you get something you yeah you get something do you? Yes, do you I want a hot chocolate? I do. I do. <laughs> this precious guy, my gosh, if it wasn't for him, I don't know how I'd get through this pregnancy. Oh. This precious guy is the reason why you got pregnant. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to point that out to you? <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. I don't understand. Like, my brother the other day asked, so are you at the point? What? That was my brother, right? Who asked, are you at the point of blaming him, saying, you did this to me? But then I was like, no, I don't think I, I could ever say that. I don't think I said that even with Casper, right? After going through so much pain. And um, because it was a joint decision, he he didn't do it to me. It wasn't forceful. I, I don't understand when women say, it's like, you, it's your fault. No, he didn't fell into you. You were there too. <laughs> and we're just gonna grab breakfast for him before our appointment and um, I'll update you guys after the appointment I'll probably be in pain if she's done a stretch and sweep so you won't hear the end of it but you know all fun about pregnancy we're at a park now I'm just gonna go for a walk we finished our appointment and um, a doctor tried to do an internal painful but not as painful as the last time she couldn't get to the cervix because it's bent inwards did she say yep yeah but she could feel like she she said that the baby's head is right there so it's just a matter of time but the plan right now is my next appointment is next Wednesday but I'll be overdue then because next Monday is I'm 40 weeks next Monday um, she's happy for me to go until 41 weeks, but that's about it. So the plan right now is to wait and see if I do go into labor, perfect. Um, it's just a patience thing, like she said, right? Um, between now and then, if I go into labor, that's fine. But by the next appointment, if I'm still pregnant, um, we are going to schedule a cesarean for that week. And... Um, this little bubba out so yeah right now I'm just gonna go for a walk and um, try to relax I'm because we have sort of a plan right now I think I'm just gonna just not think about going into labor you know because I think that's putting too much pressure on me and I'm just gonna 
live my everyday and um, that gel is all over the place <laughs> it's coming out um, I'm just gonna yeah chill I guess and hopefully I will go into labor what do you think about the whole thing so what did you think he was ridiculous he was like oh oh you know he he was so hesitant to give me his arm like hello hello it's my I'm, arm i'm giving up my vagina and you just don't want to give up your arm what yeah <laughs> oh okay <laughs> right he was so scared he's like oh take your ring off take your ring off it's gonna hurt it more blah 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 was it painful yes no, stop lying. Was it painful? Okay. <laughs> hey, we're in this beautiful park. I was just telling him that we should bring Casper here. For uh, We used to live around here actually and I used to come here a lot more. Um, it's very nice, very shady. They have like kids play areas and things. So yeah, probably do like 20 minutes of a walk, um, however long I can and then um, we'll head home and I can rest a little bit <sighs> we just came home it's like 11 30 I think now um, and hubby went to have a sleep because it's his resting day today his day off um, we're not planning to do much at all today because obviously <laughs> I can't and um, he has to be well rested just in case I go into labor um, and I don't think I'm gonna be doing much anything interesting but if I do I'll um, obviously capture some of that but for the moment I'm just gonna rest this you know cuz if I do go into labor and the baby comes um, in the next few days there won't be any <laughs> resting at all even if my toddler isn't here I'll have a newborn so because of that reason I'm just gonna take the opportunity to just maybe like watch a movie or just chill basically it is so hot and windy look how windy it is like that's crazy but that's Queensland for you um, we live in Brisbane Australia and our summers get super hot we're not still are we in the summer no because summer is from december i think december january february summer i think um what was it january february march i don't know who cares <laughs> i am going to probably watch a movie have a little nap and then I'll go have some lunch later and um, yeah just have a chill day basically <laughs> these days it's just boring vlogs isn't it nothing exciting happens until I go into labor um, we'll see oh, I tried to rest but my freaking nose has been blocked like for days now. I think I caught the cold from um, Casper and it's just not going away. <sighs> One of many issues <laughs> that I'm struggling with right now. <sighs> I'm getting kind of hungry so I don't want to like just lay here thinking <laughs> I should go down until I get more hungry. So I'm just going to go down the stairs and eat something. Um... I wanted to make like tuna wraps but who am I kidding I don't have energy I'll just eat rice and curry oh my back is aching so much it's difficult to even like lay down and stay like that it's so I don't know this weird pain it's not my typical back pain you know like I have scoliosis and I have chronic back pain but that pain is kind of like either localized or all over and this is like a dull kind of like a sore ache not like a pain pain Ugh, whatever. anyway 
let's just go downstairs. Just thought I would make like a bit of a salad <laughs> um, because I'm missing crunch for lunch. That rhymed. Plus I have all these um, ingredients that I don't want to go bad, so um, might as well use them up to make a little salad. Back in the day, I could not eat tomatoes um, because of the acid and after I had Casper everything changed I was not lactose intolerant anymore and I was able to eat tomatoes now tomatoes are like one of my favorite vegetables to eat or fruits I don't know is it a vegetable or a fruit I consider it a vegetable because I wouldn't just snack on it, you know. I mean, I could, but I don't tend to. Um, yeah. I'll leave up some Netflix while eating. Um, yeah. I'm gonna call it a day, basically. It's so dull to be at home at this time, but resting is good. I'm not used to resting. Like, I hate resting. Um, it's not what I do, you know. I am a person who needs to be constantly doing stuff. Otherwise, I just feel incomplete, <laughs> which is a problem. I shouldn't be like that. Anyway. My parents got me this from when they were in Italy um, ages ago and it is the most delicious red wine vinegar I've ever had. I'm just going to put the tiniest amount and then olive oil, extra virgin. Himalayan salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm just going to mix this up. That's the finished product. And I'm just going to put some into my plate over here. And it's a pretty lame lunch today, like just lentils and um, some fish. And I'm just gonna eat it um, while watching some Netflix. Hi guys, I'm bored out of my mind. Oh my God. I wanna do something. I don't know. <laughs> Most people love having a rest. And then here I am just complaining about having to rest. There is something really wrong with me. <sighs> I was thinking maybe I could make some pasta sauce and keep it in the freezer to use for Casper later and then I realized I've already done that <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna prep some vegetables um, for Casper's lunches and put them in the fridge so all I have to do is make the curry and mix it in um, when his food runs out. That way I'm a little bit more prepared um, and I'm not doing everything at once. So 
I got carrot, potato, kale, and some cabbage leaves. So I think I'm going to do that. Of course, if Hasa wakes up, she's going <laughs> to come in and yell at me for not resting. But I mean, come on. Who wants to rest this much? <sighs> Let's see how far I get with these veggie prepping. So after talking to you guys, I went to the toilet and I had some brownish color discharge. So maybe finally I let go, it's happening. I don't know. So um, it could still be a couple of days, but I think it's a good sign. Um, I think it's called bloody show. It wasn't bloody. It was kind of like brownish discharge. So I'll keep an eye on that, but I've got all the veggies. I might as well just make the curry, so I took the pot out as well. Onion, garlic, tomato, um, potato, and carrot in there. And then I'm also going to chop up these cabbage leaves really finely and the kale to add later. Um, I'm preheating the oven to put this fish in because it smells pretty bad and I don't think I can manage cooking it on the stove. So I'm going to do that. I was going to cook this... Um, chicken enchiladas for hubby anyway that we got from Costco so um, yeah might as well just put the oven on and do both of those at the same time um, yeah and then for the curry itself I am using um, a bit of turmeric powder probably like a quarter of a teaspoon chili powder maybe a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half and um, unroasted curry powder a couple of uh, teaspoons um, and I'm also going to use fenugreek seeds it kind of thickens the curry um, and also I will be putting fenugreek seeds I'll probably have like at like half a teaspoon and then I usually put about um, uh, I would say quarter cup to a half a cup um, of coconut milk once um, the vegetables have cooked down and then after I add the coconut milk I add the finely chopped um, leaves into it and then sort of mix it through and then let it bubble for like a minute and the curry is done and then what I usually do is make the grains so I'll do rice um, short grain rice usually uh, with barley um, so if I'm doing a cup of rice I'll do half a cup of barley and half a cup of quinoa um, sometimes I add like a can of corn or um, other beans and things like that and then once the fish is cooked I'll cook that separately and then once the fish is cooked I'll kind of crumble it and pretty much mix everything and um, put them into these little containers which we need to upgrade because Casper eats a little bit more than this now and they live in the freezer so they go there basically um, and I usually try to make about a week or a week and a half worth of stuff he only has two left so I was thinking just in case if I go into labor, I'm going to have those prepared. Um, but, you know, my mom will be taking care of him most of the time and she will just cook him fresh food. It's not really like a huge concern, but they are there um, ready made, which is good. So I've cut up all the leafy greens, um, which is a lot. So I'm going to use some of this and put it into this curry 
now that it's cooked i'm gonna add some um, coconut milk and then add the leaves and the rest of the leaves i will just freeze which i um, do sometimes so i can use it later so i don't have to cut it again yeah and then mix it up and once this fish is cooked and i'm soaking some barley over here i'm gonna add quinoa and some short green rice and cook that also and then mix everything up and it's all done oh look who finally decided to wake up my gosh yes i'm cooking i'm cooking i'm cooking casper's food i was bored i'm cooking i rested enough love ya thanks bye 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 are you gonna get him now no. what okay so this is the curry and the fish is nearly done and the rice is done also so all I have to do is mix it up but guys there's more bloody discharge so and I do get a little bit of a stronger back pain so it might be happening it could still be a little while as I just went to get Casper so I think I'm just gonna take it easy this evening and um, if I can, I'll probably try to edit this video and um, schedule it for an upload. Um, but by the time you guys will see this, I would have probably had the baby already. Um, yeah, so we'll see how things go. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and share, obviously, with your friends and family. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later and hopefully I will have a birth vlog uh, and a birth story next week. <laughs> Bye!